a wonderful afternoon. Columbus, Maryland 18, Virginia 9, the Terps going to the final four. Bruce, what do you have for us? Exercise the demons, brother. Exercise the demons. Virginia goes down to a great Maryland team. It was all Maryland, four to one after one period. The whipping went on. Mason guaranteed me an easy victory. He was right. And uh, just a tremendous effort by Luke Wehrman, but the defense, Wayne. Mason, your defense, Clyde. Talk about the defense. Yeah, just locked down, same, same system as always. No adjustments needed, just talent, heart, just good Maryland lacrosse. Matching the feet, driving on the hips. They play a just textbook style, and it, it pays off time after time. Well, talk about what Zapatello did to number one, Shelly. I mean, the same thing. Matching feet, throwing the checks at the right, right time. Bruce, you mentioned before the game to me that Maryland's biggest advantage is they don't need to throw takeaway checks. They slide, they communicate through the play, and when it comes down to it, when they're driving at the goal, the help defense, the help side the talking. I mean, it's just, if you want to show a team how to play defense, yeah. you put this Maryland team on film, and hey, and that's how it's done. It looked like six Jesse Bernhardt long poles out there. All right? They were over everybody. And, you know, the defense was incredible. Virginia could not solve it. Only Cormier got a few goals, and that was about it. Wayne, talk about the offense. Now, let's talk about how Logan Wisnowskis, if he ain't the tour time winner, I'm not Bruce Foster. But well, well, you are Bruce Pazer. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Mason Viner. Talk about how Logan didn't score in the first half. Yeah, didn't I care. Know. Let the game come to him. Gets a hat trick. Five points. Yeah, the two assists were big. My biggest offensive takeaway is Virginia could not handle Maryland in transition. Maryland comes out, gets it on the wing. Virginia just does not show up defensively again, or like they did in Audi Field, and the Maryland wings kill them. Take all the momentum. I mean, the big Virginia crowd here, it wasn't that big a crowd here, but there were a lot of Virginia fans, a lot of Maryland fans. And at this point, sort of take these games personally, this is still the greatest team I've ever seen. Yeah, this was this was just a monster win after this team ruined our last two seasons. Let's be honest. They stole the game from us three years ago. They beat us last year. I'll give them and, that. And Bruce with the ESPN uh, appearance with his handshake with Coach Stillman after the game. It was yeah. on ESPN. We, we, we're just getting notices. Uh, <laughs> texts are flying back and forth. we got a press conference to go to. You flew in for this one. You're flying out here. Hey, uh, I, your guy got a goal. Got to give ups to Danny Kelly, all right? He played like he only got in for three minutes, which is goal per minute average. He's pretty it's, good. It's got to yeah. be off the charts. Yeah. But uh, hey, we got a press conference to go to. We want to catch the fans celebrating with the team here. We will be back for a moment after the press conference. We will see all the Hartford guys. Two more. Two more. Man, you score more goals for less minutes than I've ever seen. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. All right, you've seen both press conferences. We wrapped it up here. It, it went the way you thought it was going to go. I was the one who was worried. Yeah, uh, again, and I think Coach Tiffany is, is fa absolutely fantastic about talking about the game and, and talking about what it what it means and, and what you take away from it. But when you have short stick defensive midfielders like these Maryland Terrapins do, it's very, very challenging to beat them from a coaching philosophy standpoint because, you know, for those of us that – that watch these videos that have played the game or coached the game, every textbook strategy is get on the short stick defensive midfielder, find your matchups, and, and dodge off of that. But right, and Maryland we've talked about that uh, all year. That these are great defensive middies. This is still the best team I've ever seen. I just heard Lars Tiffany say that this is the best team at least in the last 16 years. You've got two games to win. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody who watches. We're actually going to go out and catch some of the post-game tailgate for once. 
Um, we'll see you in Connecticut. Yes, we will. We'll see you all from East Hartford at Rentschler, Rentschler Field, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. So it's been a great day, as always, to be a Terp. Good afternoon from Columbus, Ohio. We will see all you. the Hartford guys. Two more. Two more.